Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Rubab Zehra, lecturer in English at Kursar College for Women, HA2 Islamabad. In this video, which is actually the second part, or you may say part two of direct and indirect speech, that is what you also call as narration, we will discuss types of narration, that is direct and indirect speech. First is a simple conversion, in which a simple conversion is done that doesn't take any other changes except those that we discussed in the previous video. For example, he said to me, comma, inside the mirror commas, I have been waiting for you since morning. You know it very well that this tense is present, perfect, continuous tense. And you know every present has to be changed into past tense. So it will be converted into past by using the helping verb of past perfect continuous tense. Then we know very well instead of set to that is a rule and in general rules I forgot to mention it but it's very important that every set to has to be converted into a past form according to the reported speech. Like for example if it's a question definitely asked will be used. If it is an order ordered will be used. So we will discuss in the rest of the types all these things. So set to has been converted or has to be converted into told. Set to is converted into told. He told me inverted commas and commas will be removed. Instead of that, that will be used. That and then pronoun change. As he is used here, so here instead of I, he will be used in indirect speech. He told me that he, instead of present, it will be a past tense. He had been waiting for him because of he. These are the changes. Since morning, full stop, no inverted commas. So it's a simple conversion. Second is interrogative sentences, which are divided into two parts. It has two types. First one, that is one starting with helping verb. Helping verb. Remember, the question will be started with the helping verb. Like, for example, I said to her, are you coming with me? Question mark. Answer is, I asked her instead of said to because it's a question. I asked her and then if it starts with helping verb, you will use if instead of that. If or whether. Both can be used. Go for a simple one. So that there shouldn't be any mistake of spellings. If she was, if she was coming with me. Or if, if is used, remember, you may go for if she were. Because conditional clauses or any structure starting with if will contain were as a helping word. Okay? Now the second type is interrogative sentences that start with wh word and the exceptions are always there like how for example he said to me comma inside inverted commas where were you question mark now he asked me as i told you said to must be converted into asked he asked me now here instead of if you will use the same wh word but only and only the first word letter will be written in small letter or you may say lower case where I had been verb will be converted into had been like I told you third type of direct speech is imperative sentences which represents a request a command an order a suggestion etc for example he said to his servant polish my shoes so the emotions clearly tell you that it's actually an order so you will say, instead of said to, you will say ordered. So you replace said to with ordered. He ordered his servant and remember, instead of that, to is used. To polish his shoes. Then there is another example here. It's actually of, he said, don't go outside. So the conversion will be, he said or he forbade, not he said, actually it's he forbade to go outside. So here 
Z will be converted into 4 by 8. And then this will be not to go outside. So we will discuss or we will practice many of the examples in some other video very soon. Okay, now comes the other type, another type of direct speech that is exclamatory sentences. Exclamatory sentences in which the verb represents an exclamation, a sudden expression or emotion, starting with interjection many a times. For example, the teacher said, Bravo, you have done well. Like everybody enjoys teacher's compliments, so this is it. The teacher exclaimed with happiness because she is happy, so she will be exclaiming with happiness that he had done well. Remember that you are not going to use it in indirect speech, be it alas, bravo, oh, etc. But it is not going to be used. Another type here will be, um, the traveler said, what a strange city is, is it? So I will convert into the traveler exclaimed with wonder that that was a very strange city. As I told you, we will do it. Okay, next one is, fifth one is optative sentences, again having two further types. Like one starting with wood. this particular word one starting with wood and it represents actually a wish for example he said would that i were rich so it's an expression it's a desire so i will convert he wished that he had been rich second type is actually the one that starts with may and may basically represents a prayer for example, she said, may you live long. And sometimes they may contain, instead of a full stop, an exclamation mark. Same goes for the sentences, like in wishing for something. So the answer here will be, she prayed that you might live long. So this is what actually the prayer for you also, my dear students and viewers, that you should live a long life, a happy and prosperous life. Till the next video, just take care of yourself and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Allah please.